Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm sharing with you what I got for Christmas. If you don't like these kinds of videos, up there somewhere is the X button. You can leave, just please don't leave comments saying that like I'm bragging or whatever, because I'm not. I just know that a lot of you, like me, are hella nosy and like to see what other people got for Christmas. Anyway, from my dad I got mostly money, but I know he also likes to give us physical gifts, so I gave him a list of some books that I wanted, and I got this box set of Disney's Twisted Tales. It's an Aladdin, a Beauty and the Beast, and a Sleeping Beauty retelling, each with a twist. So the Beauty and the Beast one is what if Belle's mother had been the one to curse the beast, the Aladdin one is if what if he had never found the lamp, and the Sleeping Beauty one is if what if she had never woken up. And I wish I could show you guys the covers because they are absolutely gorgeous, but I've actually really been struggling to get them out of this box. Ah! As all this time, Once Upon a Dream, and A Whole New World, the covers are absolutely gorgeous, as you can see, and I'm so excited to read them. I have started reading As All This Time. I started reading it at work one day, and I was really enjoying it, but for some reason I just never got to finishing it, so I'm quite excited to read all of them and obviously use these in bookstagram pictures. Oh, and he also gave me a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries. I asked for batteries for Christmas, guys. How sad is my life? <laughs> then from Alan's mom and his sister, I got the Harry Potter History of Magic, which I am so happy about. It is such a beautiful, beautiful book. It's a companion to the exhibition they had at the British Library last year. Yeah, it must have been last year, because it was in celebration of 20 years of Harry Potter. And guys, this book is just... If you are subscribed to my other channel, you'll have seen for my birthday I got A Journey Through a History of Magic, which is a companion to this book, and that was also just incredible. But that I think was more focused on Harry Potter, whereas this seems to be more focused on actual magic, like a history of magic. So there's like different chapters on all different aspects of magic, like herbology and divination and stuff, and it is amazing and beautiful and just fantastic. They also gave me this lovely owl mug, it is so cute and it's so great for pictures because it just has like, you know you attach sentiments to certain objects? All mugs have a certain element of coziness because their mugs you use them to drink hot things, but this just has like an, ac an added amount of coziness. I don't know, I think it's the colour, it's, it's like that warm brown stony colour and it's got like little grainy bits and it feels ultra cozy. They also got me my favourite tea, which is the strawberry and blackcurrant five roses tea. It is so so yummy and if you like flavoured tea, even if you don't like flavoured tea, give it a try. This stuff is amazing. And they gave me an oh so heavenly hand cream in the pomegranate and rose of oil scent, which is one of my favourite ranges. I'm busy using the shower gel. I got the body lotion for my birthday. It is such an amazing scent. I love anything pomegranate scented, so just so good. And this one is vegan as well, which is awesome. Then from Alan, I got a bunch of socks. I always steal his socks. So he gave me a pack of, I think he gave me five pairs. Yeah, he gave me a ton of socks. And as soon as I opened them, I was just like, this is really cute that you think this is gonna stop me stealing your socks. It'll prolong the time when I don't steal the socks. Cause I only steal the socks when I run out of clean socks. So at least now I'll have more clean socks to choose from. It'll, it'll help, but just, it's not gonna fix the problem. <laughs> He also gave me this gorgeous book of classic ghost stories. I'm so happy with this. I love ghost stories. I love classics. And this is just... You can't, you can't beat a beautiful hardcover with stories from people like Charles Dickens, H.G. Wells, and Edith Wharton. You, you... How do you top that? And he also got me little polar bear earrings. I love, like, kitsch Christmas stuff. Kitsch Christmas is sort of me in a nutshell. He got me little polar bears. They're so lovely. And then lastly, the stuff that I got from my mum. Another, like, super sad, boring adult thing. I asked for shampoo and conditioner for Christmas because I can't afford my own. So this is the Rain shampoo and conditioner. It's from their biology collection. I do have the shampoo as well, but I've already started using it, so it's in the bathroom and I'm too lazy to go fetch it. And these smell incredible. They have, like, they say that they have marula oil in them and they have kind of a sandalwoody scent and I love Rain because they are fair trade approved, they are beauty without cruelty approved and they they do have one range of stuff that uses beeswax and honey in it but apart from that range all of their products are entirely vegan and they're locally made so in every ethical and sustainable way 
they check all the boxes. And she gave me The Woman I Wanted to Be, which is Diane von Furstenberg's memoir. Memoir. I love Diane von Furstenberg. I think she's an amazing designer and I don't know much about her life though. So I'm quite interested to read this and get to know her a little better because I only know her designs. I don't know her at all. So I think that this will be a really interesting read. Fashion designers have always led really, really interesting lives. So I think this will be a lot of fun to get into. I also asked for stationery because I am a stationery addict and a bullet journaling addict. So she got me some sticky note flags. These are great for just like flagging tabs of your flagging pages of your bullet journal that you know you'll want to flip to often and also nice for annotating books which I want to do more of. And she got me some colourful bulldog clips. I like bulldog clips for keeping sections of my journal together but I could only find the black ones which are a bit boring so I asked for some colourful ones. So I got red, yellow, blue and green and these will definitely spice things up. January, my spread for January is actually green themed so I'll start using these probably soon and then maybe adapt the colours for the rest of the year to the other colours that I've got. Then she got me a bag organiser from Discam. I thought these are really cool for the longest time but I've never actually gone gotten around to buying one and then lately I found myself wanting to use my bigger handbags more often but then every time I use one I'm like oh I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this so I thought if I get one of these then at least I can keep all of my stuff in here and just swap it out with my handbags, which is the point of these, that you can change handbags instantly and you don't have to worry about forgetting things and forgetting to move things, and which is something I always do. And lastly, I got a little baby bry, which is so, so freaking cute. Uh, I go camping a lot, and when I go camping, we bry a lot. Sarah, so you need to find my other memory cards so I can start filming a whole video in one go. You know, we bry a lot, because it's easy and we're South African. But being vegan, I don't want my veggie stuff to touch everyone else's gross meaty stuff and also I don't want it to touch the meaty grid. Ew. So normally I end up having to wrap all of my food in tinfoil, which is obviously a huge waste of tinfoil and just a mission and a half. So with this little guy, once everyone else has made their fire, I can just take some of the coals, pop them into the bottom of my little braai and then put my veggies on top and it's like just enough space for my food and it's really exciting. So that's what I got for Christmas last year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I feel like I am echoing a lot. I'm echoing into this thing. <laughs> I'm clearly very easily amused. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas, because I'm super nosy, so if you've done a video, link me to that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!